Begs here with green, red, energy combo and standard. Looks okay. On the draw. Got energy, pummelers, pump, protection. Servant in case we draw Hydra or Glory Bringer so we can pump it out a turn early. Let's see what we can do. We have one game trail in the deck, so I guess I could sandbag the forest in my hand in case I happen to draw the game trail. Odds are we're just going to draw more forests and mountains though, so not really a big deal. I'm trying to get that elusive turn 4 win, that'd be really nice, that's what I'm going for. Winding Constrictor. That'll be a uh, handful. Black. I mean, oh, third Aether Hub. Great. He said sarcastically. I mean, we'll see. It might be pumps for Electrostatic Pummeler activations. For all he knows, we're the same deck. We haven't shown red or black yet. We're just green, serpent, everything foil. Of course, our pummelers will be foil next turn. Got another foil hub over here. Keep it clean. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. I don't know why that card annoys me when I see it. It feels kind of like a bomb because it does a thing where you draw a card and I don't like it. And you only lose one life instead of life equal to the CMC of the card, like Bob does. So it almost feels like a better Bob. Better Bob. But... Yeah, I don't care, just play the Aether Hub. He didn't leave black up, so I'm... He had to use his one black for the Glint Sleeve, so it's not like he's trying to sandbag the Fatal Push. If he had it, he would have played it. And what's nice is Pummeler gets around Fatal Push without Revolt, so as long as I don't let something die during my turn when I'm trying to kill him, like leave the leave play, you can't just Fatal Push the Electrostatic Pummeler, so I do have that going for me. Now I have 7 energy, and access to 4 mana because of Servant in play, so I can play Invigorated Rampage and Blossoming Defense to make him a 7, then pump twice, Seven, fourteen, twenty-eight trample. That's a turn four kill. We may need to use blossoming defense to protect the electrostatic pummeler right here. They have double forest blooming marsh, so they don't have double black, so they can't ruin his path or grasp with practice. Oh, oh, there you go, swamp. Just saying go here. Might be attacking with everything. Yes, that's fine. He doesn't have Rishkar, or he would have played it pre-combat. Obviously. It would be bananas with the Winding Constrictor out. So what is he going to play with his five cards? Five card launch instead. Well, he's just going to beef his guys up. I don't know what he's doing. Got four cards left. Drop some mana. I would love if he tapped out Just an extra Glint Sleeve Siphoner. We're good. I wouldn't use Blossoming to save Servant, so I'm gonna F6. I'm not really worried about it. Of course, we have another Aether Hub. I really wish we could play Uncaged Fury, but. Could we? That would just completely out. If... See if we can take him to Hose Town. We need double red, but I've got that. It's fine. Red, colorless. Red, colorless, 
screen. He can't kill me with a revolted fatal push, so... Boom. And boom. F6. Combat with 24-20 trample. On turn 4. It's what we've been waiting for, this one, boys. Long time coming, but I finally got it. It's like, I guess I block here? <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Play another Blossoming Defense. I Please play another Blossoming Defense. Uh. Alright, let's do it again, though. Let's make it a real match. Let's see if he concedes. He may just say, fuck it, that was cheap. My deck doesn't have something like that built into it. It's like, well, bad deck building decision, dude. He yeah. had... Something else besides Blunt Sleeve, Siphoner. It probably died to Magma Spray. I mean, I guess you could hedge and play Harness Lightning, and then you get to keep the leftover energy, because... So I've got two Heroic, two Harnessed, two Glorybringer. I just don't have my Uncaged Furies in a land. And, uh, I don't know. I got it at 60, that's all that matters. There isn't a lot of wiggle room with the deck, and the top end is kind of where that wiggle room is. Either you want the Glorybringers or you don't. One land, no attune, it's a multi. Two lands, two attunes, pump and removal, no creature, it's a mulligan. Alright. Moving on a prayer. Down on top. See, this is, a, this is probably the best you could hope for with a five. Play that tap, say go. Looks like he kept a seven. Sucks for us. We went to five. We got a good scry. Oh wow, there goes Hydra. It's our best card. He's probably like, damn, how does he have such a good hand after mulling to five? And it's like, because we got to scry and keep the Voltaic Brawler on top. It's a hot hand. He might just lose to Hydra if he doesn't take it. Oh man. He's probably just trying to take away... Turn two play. He must have trouble dealing with that. And luckily we drew the cub, which is technically better than Brawl. That scribe for all intents and purposes was pointless because we chose to keep before we looked and we ended up just keeping the top, so. I mean, it was nice. You should get to scry before you decide whether you mulligan or not. Like, that should be... That's more of a... Helpful. It's helpful on both ends. wonder if he knows that's just going to die. Pointless red. Six. Hit him with a cub. He's gotta have something much better than a blunt sleeve siphoner. If he knew he was just gonna be throwing that into a harness lightning. So you'd think to yourself, maybe I should save the harness lightning, but. A bristling hydra. Terrific. <laughs> Well, we 
consumed myself with exactly three energy. After I put a counter on the cub. Better off than I thought I'd be. I have two activations on my Hydra. But I have three more activations on my Cub. And the rich get rich here. It's like a Hydra stalemate, but I have more energy and I also have Cub on the side. Could fatal push cub at any point, which is frustrating. He could generic removal spell on anything at this point, except Hydra. So any generic removal just hoses me. Let him get through all of his triggers. He has two cards left in double black. It's probably Grasp and X. Maybe Grasp and Fatal. Just has both. Super awesome. Lucky for him. We're going to play Electrostatic Pummeler. Get up to 11 energy. 5 4 with that 5 energy. So we can go to 6 5. We can go to 6 5 also. If I just go to 5 4, we trade. With the Hydra's off the table. Before I even declare a block. See what he wants to do. I already have Hexproof. You'd have to do a little bit more than the hoop jumping to get through this one. Clincher is I can make my cub bigger than his wrist car, and I've already got a five point damage lead on him. We're gonna go ahead and play Hummeler now. If I get super lucky and just nut draw a pump spell off the top, like invigorated, I can just kill him next turn with electrostatic pummeler. In the meantime, We can just hit him with his Long Tusk Cup and make our job even easier. Because then a Blossoming Defense on Electrostatic, pump twice. 3, 6, 12. See, now it's he's got the grasp and he knows he's got to deal with something, but he doesn't know what. Putting Rish Car here. He's saying I need to do something. And then he just casts Grasp. It's like he didn't even need to block. He could have just grasped it. Oh, interesting. So he's making me a 0-0. Zero, zero. I could use all of my energy and then trade. Oh, that's a disgusting proposition. Because then it's one card to one card. All right, man. Now if I draw that pump spell off the top, it's gonna look real dumb. Oh, man. So lucky, he just has that. An almond cat naturalized cycle. Definitely want to play this. Saronis, straight up. And then next turn, we can Sylvan. Hopefully draw land, hopefully draw land. Ugh. Oh well, two spell. Say okay. Or one green. I 
six. We're not worried about that. Ronas can target one of our guys and make him a 4-4, and then he can swing for 5, so we're looking really good. We have two creatures that he's going to have to deal with now. They just get to come in the red zone also if he does nothing, so... Pretty bad for him. We would target Servant. Take combat. So we want him to shoot Servant and not the Cub. If he were to try and avoid Ronis from being able to attack, but it looks like we're just coming right in through the front door. We did not have to play a card from the hand to do that, so... There you go. And we would have drawn... Brawler, Hydra another invigorated, so basically it's another 5 energy, yeah, you can just do anything you want at that point. We had 3, he had just made 2. It's really hot. I'm gonna try again with these 2 invigorateds, haven't even played the first one yet. Pretty disgusting, pretty happy about that. Um, it was a turn 9 win, but um, he played Lay Bear, he thought seized us. To rest, whatever you want to call it, for two mana. Got rid of the Glint Sleeve Siphoner to turn off his card draw. He had his own Bristling Hydra, he was like green black energy. He had Grasp, Rishkar, and then he even had a Naturalize effect, which is pretty frustrating. But we still got there with the meat and potatoes of our deck. Ronus really pulled its weight. Gonna show you a really cool turn four win, and then a Ronus win, where he just pulls his weight. He's indestructible, packs a punch, he's got the extra bonus built in. Show you the collection real quick. Here's the deck, sideboard, magma spray, naturalize, natural state, slit, and uh, release the gremlins. Harness lightning, heroic intervention is pretty clutch. Um, I don't know how many I brought in, but it's a really good card. Tyler's tracker, Lifecrafter's bestiary. Bestiary. Here's the deck, green red energy, AKH post ban. Ronus, Electrostatic Pummeler, he's the key to the deck. Uncaged Fury, turns other cards into combo pieces also. Invigorated Rampage, it's our pump spell of choice. It lets us go big on one with Trample, or wide, split the difference two on two different creatures. Blossoming Defense, it gives us our protection spell. Basically what lets this deck exist in the format, because there is pretty good removal. A tune just makes energy, lets us play less lands overall. Servant of the Conduit, really good 2 2 bear body you can use. Makes energy, mana. Voltaic Brawler, he's like built for this deck, he's great. Long Tusk Cub, everyone knows how good that is, it just runs away with the game. Bristling Hydra, he wins way more games than he should. He's um, the deep alternate win condition, much like my other deck, uh, Infinite Mill, No Ascendancies. You can get the infinite mill win, or you can just beat them with a Insul Artifact on an Ornithopter. Much like the same thing, Bristling Hydra will just win the game on its own with its ability to dodge removal with built-in Hexproof, and its ability to just be a beater as early as turn 3 with the help of a Servant of the Conduit. Then Glorybringer is just a great card out of Amonkhet that uh, really does just come crashing down and shoots whatever thing is protecting whatever Planeswalker they have, and you just get to attack the Planeswalker that same turn it comes out with haste, flying 4-4, four, four. so you pretty much just kill any Planeswalker they play, and you also just blast with fire whatever creature they had in play to protect that Planeswalker, so it's just an epic two-for-one, and it doesn't matter that he's exerted and has to take a turn off, tapped, you just have the rest of your deck going on. You're not like other decks where it's mid-range and you finally land one threat. It's like, no, I've been playing threats this whole time, up the curve. Sideboard, just like the Blossoming Defense Heroic Intervention, is really clutch. There's just some matchups where this deck doesn't have the blue splash anymore, so instead of playing counter spells to protect, you just play Heroic Intervention to protect. They got Fumigate, give them Indestructible. They got Ruinous Path, Unlicensed Disintegration, Grasp of Darkness, Fatal Push, anything, just give them Hexproof. 
doesn't matter, Heroic Intervention. It's a really great card for what the deck is trying to do, so... And it makes it to where you don't have to splash blue. You can just do it out of green. Really clutch. Well, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching the video.